The goal of the program is really to help people regain housing um, and support as many people in, in homelessness resolution as we can. Participants will receive either a cash transfer to their bank account or a debit card. Now, that seemingly innocuous portrayal of a newly approved Denver pilot program leaves out some important details. Like this $2 million project will give 140 homeless individuals up to $12,000 each as long as they are female, transgender, gender nonconforming, or families in shelters. Joining me now, Heidi Ganahl, Republican candidate for Colorado governor who would set all of this straight. Heidi, uh, now we asked Governor Polis if he would support this statewide effort, and he refused to even give us an answer. I mean, how do you not answer that question tonight? Does that surprise you? Laura, he doesn't answer a lot of questions right now, and handing out $12,000 to each homeless person is um, not going to work. We already spend over $70,000 per homeless person in the city and county of Denver if they're homeless, and it's I think the, the problem has tripled in size in the last couple of years. It's not working. Yeah, so the question was, this is going to be a pilot program in Denver, but if it turns out so great, let's do it statewide. But he wouldn't give us an answer on that. Now, the polling in your race, I think it hasn't gotten a lot of attention because a lot of people have been pushing Polis as like the new Democrat solution to what ails the Democrat Party. But a Trafalgar poll now shows you within four points Mm-hmm. which is 5% um, undecided. So how are you going to turn those who are already Polis supporters uh, to your camp at this point? Well, Laura, things are really bad in Colorado. A lot of people outside of Colorado don't understand how terrible things have gotten. We have skyrocketing crime. We're number one in auto theft, number two in fentanyl overdoses because Jared Polis made us a sanctuary state and has been soft on crime. And we also have the top inflation rate in the country at 15.6 percent. Well, I saw that in August. I think there was a piece in the, I, mean, I think it was the Denver Post in August, mm-hmm. that drug overdoses have doubled in one year in Colorado. I believe it's 1,800 deaths from fentanyl and other uh, hard drugs. So, it, I mean, fentanyl is a problem nationwide, no doubt. But that was, I mean, I was shocked to read that. My goodness. I, again, I don't think people understand just how serious this is. Yeah, it's terrible in Colorado. Um, I was at an event and a mom came up to me. Her name's Mickey. And she handed me an ornament with her daughter's picture on it, who was 16. And she said, this is my daughter, Hannah. This is who you're fighting for. She took a Xanax at school. Her friend thought it would make her feel better. She was having a bad day and it was laced with fentanyl. And she passed away that day. Fentanyl poisoning is happening to all kinds of folks across economic lines, across our communities in Colorado. And Jared Polis, our liberal governor, governor, um, he decriminalized fentanyl. They made it a misdemeanor in most cases. It's gotten terrible since then. Yeah, well, he, he claims also that he was reasonable in how he dealt with COVID. Now that we've seen what's happened with the kids, quickly your response to that. Oh, my goodness. Our kids are in a mental health crisis. We have one of the highest suicide rates in the country for our children, second highest drug addiction rate for kids in Colorado because they were shut out of their schools, their sports. He kept pot shops open and closed churches and schools. Oh, my gosh. There is nothing moderate about Jared Polis. Heidi Ganahl, you would be yet another conservative female governor (laughs) to bring common sense solutions to your state. We're with you 100 percent. Jared Polis has got to go. We've got to seal up this border, get rid of this uh, fentanyl problem and all the other problems in the state of Colorado. Heidi Ganahl, good luck to you. I hope we check back with you. When we come back, a final goodbye.